y'all. Welcome back to Conservation Caitlin. The holiday season is finally here. I know we've all been looking forward to it, especially this year. I love this time of year. It's a great time to celebrate the birth of my savior. And I just love that everyone is a lot friendlier and who doesn't love getting some gifts. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this episode is a sustainable gift giving guide and how to make the holidays a little bit more sustainable. As much as I love this time of year, it also gives me a little bit of anxiety because it is a time of hyper consumerism. People buy a lot of things between Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, and just the holidays in general. And we also produce 25% more waste around the holidays than any other time of year. So I thought I would put out this little uh, gift guide on how you can be a little bit more sustainable in this time of year. This video may be a little long because it's a little bit tricky to talk about. I want to offer ways that you can be a sustainable gift giver, but I also want to talk about ways that you can receive sustainable gifts. So I'm going to try and do my best to cover both of those subjects without making this video too long. The first way that you can be a sustainable gift giver is to do DIY and homemade gifts. So using things that you already have. And I know I mention this in every video, but that's because it's applicable to everything I talk about. Using what you already have is the best way to be a sustainable gift giver. Maybe you have some really nice clothes that you never wore and you know someone that would really like those or your kitchen utensils and appliances that are collecting dust are really in good shape, but you know someone that could use them instead of you. Um, those are great gifts to give. They're kind of expensive and they're usually on people's wish lists. You can also make gifts if you're really crafty. I am not one of those uh, people, but if you have a knack or a talent for art or music or something like that, you know, use those gifts and gift them to others. And that adds a nice personal touch too, which you can't get from a store. When in doubt, you can also do consumable gifts. A lot of people love homemade baked goods. If you are really good at baking, try gifting someone one of your favorite recipes or even share the recipe on a nice recipe card. I know some of us are not baking inclined and that's okay. And with this year with COVID, it might be tricky to do more of a homemade gift. Um, so there are options to still give consumable gifts and something that you know people will enjoy. Most people like chocolate and wine, and um, both of those have sustainable options. Alter Eco Foods is a brand that offers chocolate bars and chocolate truffles, and their wrappers are compostable um, for their truffles, and the ones that are dark chocolate, you know, obviously have no milk in them, so they're vegan, if you know anybody that has dietary restrictions. And then you can also look up sustainable wine companies that either plant trees when you buy a bottle or you know, a percentage of their purchase supports like ocean cleanup or um, an endangered species. So you can find sustainable gifts in the consumable realm as well. Another way to be a sustainable gift giver is to shop secondhand. By shopping places like Goodwill, Facebook Marketplace, or apps like LetGo, you can find furniture, you can find clothing, you can find home decor. Shopping places like these is a great way to be eco-friendly and to feel good about your purchase because it doesn't require new resources to make those products. They've already been made, so you're just extending the life of those products that otherwise might not find a home. By repurchasing and reusing something that's already been made, you're keeping your carbon footprint really low. This is also a really affordable gift giving option. Usually places like Goodwill and Facebook Marketplace are going to offer really good deals on products that you would normally find are more expensive brand name. If you've kind of tried both those options or if you're looking for something more specific, instead of going over to the big giant Amazon, I would recommend a company called Earth Hero. Earth Hero is a website that I like to describe as like a miniature Amazon, but what they do is they have a five-step process um, that's pretty rigorous that they put all of their companies through to make sure that they are a sustainable company. So you can feel good about every purchase that's coming from Earth Hero. You can find just about anything you're needing on Earth Hero. They have toys for pets, they've got kids toys, they've got home decor, they've got technology, They've got clothing. So whether you're looking to shop for a man, a woman, a child, a pet, you can probably find something on that website that's going to please all of them. 
I really love Earth Hero because you can create a wish list on there. So if you're looking to be more sustainable in the gifts you receive this year, you can make a wish list on Earth Hero and then send it out to friends and family to kind of make sure you get what you're wanting and also knowing that they're coming from a sustainable source. Another great website to check out is Etsy. What most people don't know is Etsy offsets 100% of their carbon emissions from shipping. So you can feel good about any time that you have to ship something. I know I try to avoid online shopping because I don't like the carbon footprint that is associated with shipping, but Etsy offsets their carbon emissions so that that makes me feel better. I also love that with Etsy, you're supporting small businesses. This year especially, it is so, so important to be supporting the smaller companies because if you really love their unique handcrafted artisanal goods that you can't find anywhere else, it is so, so important to vote with your dollar and shop small businesses to keep them open. You can feel really good about shopping small because you know that the money that you're giving to that person is possibly even helping put their holiday meal on the table or buying gifts for their friends and family. Speaking of offsetting emissions, maybe you really don't want anything this year or you know someone that is very, like, they don't ever want anything. Something you can do is offset their carbon footprint with a company called Go Climate. Go Climate is a really simple and easy process. You just log on to their website, take a quick survey, and find out your environmental footprint. And then you can choose to pay to offset your carbon footprint for a whole year. Now, if you don't know what a person's carbon footprint might be, you can maybe take the quiz for yourself and make a guess. Or if you just know that someone is maybe not living a super sustainable life, but you want to help offset that, a great thing to do is to buy a gift card with a certain amount to offset their carbon footprint. And you can give that to them and then that'll maybe spark a conversation with them. Also for all those, you know, relatives that are always nagging you and you're like, I really don't need anything, I really don't want anything, you can tell them to offset your carbon footprint. That's a great thing to do. You could also encourage them to donate to a favorite charity of your choice. I know I've done that in the past for my dad, who just wants peace on earth and goodwill towards men, and I do love him for that. But sometimes you just want to give something. So um, giving in someone's name is a great way um, to just kind of show the world a little love. In addition to those five ways to not only be a sustainable gift giver, but also to receive sustainable gifts, I thought I would talk about things that go with gifts. So gift wrap and shipping and how we can uh, make sure that we're keeping the whole process as sustainable as possible. I kind of touched on this a minute ago, but sending lists to friends and family of what you're wanting is a great way to make sure you're not receiving something that you're never going to use. With being zero waste, you don't want just stuff collecting in your house. You want something that's gonna be practical to use. So sending lists to friends and family, even though it kind of eliminates some of the surprise factor um, of letting someone just kind of completely randomly shop for you, is a great way to ensure that you get what you want without having to worry about returns and everything after. Because nobody wants that, to receive a gift and then have to worry about the stress of figuring out how to return it and getting money back and can you purchase something else with it. That's not a good gift. On the flip side, you also want to be a conscious consumer and a conscious buyer. So making sure you know what your friends and family are wanting or needing and kind of getting specifics. So making sure that on the other side of this, you don't put them through the same process that you don't want to have to go through. Making sure that it's something they're really going to enjoy because returns are super, super bad for the environment. The footprint of shipping something back and then usually depending on what the item is, you know, it might not get to get restocked or reshelved. It might get donated, but the chances are it's probably just going to end up in the landfill. I know the holidays can be really stressful and a bit of a time crunch, and so a lot of people like to utilize fast shipping. You guys all know the company I'm talking about that has kind of gotten us all used to this overnight, one day, possibly two day shipping. But if you can avoid that, think ahead, plan ahead, um, and allow for a slower shipping time, that's a much better way to keep your carbon footprint low in your shipping. This also involves if you're trying to ship a gift to friends and family for the holidays. Once you receive it and wrap it and make it look good and then delivering it to them, try not to rush your shipping um, and know that that's going to help keep your carbon footprint low. Lastly, talking about wrapping our packages. It is so important to wrap sustainably. Now, first and foremost, if you still have, you know, 10 rolls of Christmas wrapping paper and 
you know, tons of ribbons and bows. Use what you already have. If you really want to change it up this year and go more sustainable, gift that to somebody that's going to use that wrapping paper and all of those wrapping supplies. I know my husband and I typically save our um, gift bags that we get each year because we can easily reuse them, re-gift them. We just put a new sticker or label on or even rip our old sticker off and it's good to go. You can also save all of your boxes that you've received um, when you're ordering packages and save those boxes and use them for other gifts that you might need to put into a box to ship to someone else. Some sustainable gift wrapping options are using newspaper, uh, brown paper bags, twine is compostable. So if you get twine to kind of wrap your gifts instead of ribbon, um, that's a great option. I've seen some people print photos of the person that the gift is for and kind of slide that on top of their package in lieu of like a sticker um, because stickers can't be composted or recycled. They just go to landfill. So even though the picture does, you know, obviously use resources, um, usually that picture is going to be put on a wall or put in a frame. So it's kind of like a gift on top of the gift. And I thought that was a really uh, unique way uh, to give a gift to someone so that they know who the gift is for. You can also purchase paper tape if you're trying to seal up like big cardboard boxes in place of the plastic tape that we're all really used to. You can also use washi tape, which is another form of paper tape, but it's smaller. Um, it's really cute and decorative. Um, so it's okay if it's seen on your package, um, but obviously it won't hold and cover large boxes, but this is great for smaller gifts for sure. And I've also seen people going to Goodwill and thrift stores um, and purchasing scarves and wrapping presents in scarves. And then again, it's a gift within a gift. Um, so you can wrap things in um, towels, linens, blankets, um, scarves. There's lots of ways to be creative with objects that have already been made. And again, it's a gift within a gift. I really, really hope you have a great holiday season and that some of these tips will help you out in being a more conscious consumer and a conscious gift receiver. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and be sure you've also subscribed to my channel. If you want to receive a notification every time I post a new video, be sure and hit that bell as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.